Hi and welcome back. So in this video we'll start talking about parsing algorithms and the first algorithm we'll talk about is the recursive descent parsing. Recursive descent parsing is also called uh, the brute force parsing algorithm and it is going to involve some backtracking. So when we say brute force what's going to happen is we're going to uh, when trying to con uh, construct the parse tree we are going to try each production one by one. If it works, then we proceed with our algorithm. If it doesn't, then we backtrack and try a different production. So that's how recursive descent algorithm works. Now let's take the example that I have and see how this is going to work. So first I have uh, a cursor at ID in the input. So my input is ID plus ID times ID. And the uh, symbol that I start the tree with is E. Now I use the first uh, production rule for E and come up with E prime plus E. Um, and at this point, my leftmost uh, symbol is still a non-terminal, which is E prime. So I try to expand this further and I use the first production rule with uh, for E prime to get ID times uh, E prime. And at this point, my leftmost non-terminal is, uh, my leftmost symbol is um, not a non-terminal. So I can compare it to my input and uh, it does match the input. So what I do is I move the cursor one step ahead and I check my next symbol. And in case of the tree, I have uh, the asterisk here. And in case of my input, I have a plus symbol, which means that I need to backtrack so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of uh, the last production, which was E prime goes to ID times E prime. And instead I use the next production for E prime, which is uh, E prime goes to ID. So uh, I just use this production. And um, of course I should have reset my cursor as well. So uh, my cursor will now be, still be at ID. And uh, in my tree, I once again have a terminal symbol uh, at the leftmost end. So I compare this ID to my input, which is this ID. And since it does match, I can take my cursor to the next uh, input, which is a plus. And I do have a plus right here. So uh, I can take my cursor forward still and I have ID here. And at this point, uh, the symbol I have in my tree is a non-terminal, which is E. So what I do is I uh, I use the first production rule for E, which is E prime times uh, E prime plus E. And once again, for E prime, I use uh, both of my production rules, which is uh, ID times E prime. And um, at this point, what is going to happen is um, I am successfully going to uh, get this ID followed by uh, the asterisk followed by the ID if I uh, use the production rule for E prime. But uh, although I've run out of my input, my tree still has symbols left, which means that there's still something wrong and I should backtrack and uh, start again from uh, this cursor right here, which I haven't changed yet. So I hope you've gotten the idea of how recursive descent passing works and uh, you could also write an algorithm for recursive descent parsing now so uh, it's just using the production rules one by one if it uh, if something goes wrong you backtrack uh, to the last step and then you continue from there with the next production rule in uh, your uh, set of production rules so uh, that's about recursive descent passing uh, in the next video, we'll take a look at something pretty interesting where uh, recursive descent parsing uh, runs into um, a problem and we'll see how that's sorted out. So see you there. Hope you understood recursive descent parsing and uh, you could actually go and try writing this algorithm. I hope you'll be able to do that. In the meanwhile, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you next time.